Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quarantine Etiquette with the Royal Butler and the Royal Dachshunds, episode 45, Gift Wrapping. Many of us are having birthdays and other celebrations during the lockdown, and we thought this is a good opportunity to show you exactly how I like to wrap my gifts. I'm sure it's how you do it, but I could maybe give you a few pointers along the way. So that's what we're going to demonstrate today with, of course, the assistance of the Royal Dachshunds. And here they come. Wonderful. Okay, for wrapping your gift, you obviously need your gift. So we've got some very nice chocolates here that I'm going to give a friend. And you need your wrapping paper. And of course, some scissors and your sellotape. And then we're ready to begin. Now, in my present drawer, which is where I keep gifts and other items for giving people, I also have some wrapping paper in there, some gift bags, some ribbon, the sellotape and the scissors just so it's all ready if suddenly I need to wrap a gift for somebody. Okay, we're going to open our paper out and put the gift on top. And you want to just kind of make sure that it's positioned in the right spot so you're not having to use too much paper. So I reckon about there. And I've already did a pre-cut as I was measuring out a little while ago. And that's where I'm going to cut in a straight line. If the paper keeps coming back, you can always use the sellotape to keep it in place. Right, the next part is I'm going to bring the paper up to that point and I know I need about this much, so that's what I'm going to cut along in a straight line. And this piece of paper can be saved and used for a smaller gift later. Isn't that right, Dashens? The next thing you're going to do is we're going to turn the chocolates around because you want the join of the paper to be on the back. And then you're going to bring the paper up to about halfway. And then this piece is going to come back over. Make sure it's nice and tight. And a little trick that I like to do is to fold this over like that, or under I should say, and press down so that you've got a nice seamless edge like this and then I put the scissors on top to keep it in place while I get the sellotape. I've pre-cut some sellotape that I've got hanging on the sides here which I will then cut as and when I need it and then I'm going to cut a piece of the sellotape. Make sure this is nice and tight and put your first piece of tape on the gift. Now the next part is you're going to fold this down and press those little corners in like that nice and tightly and then you're going to fold this in and then press down there and do the exact same on the other side. So it looks a bit like an envelope. And then I'm going to make a tiny fold here, as I showed you earlier on. Then I'm going to fold that up, get another piece of the sellotape, and put the tape on there. Now once you've done one side, you can push the gift in to tighten it, and then you're ready to do the other side, and you're going to repeat the exact same process and then get another piece of tape and put it on like that and there we have a beautifully wrapped <coughs> gift yes Dashens, wonderful i'm glad you approve now all that's left is to choose a notelet and i might let the Dashens decide which one they want to give now, excuse me a moment. Dashens, uh, are you going to have a go at this gift wrapping? I'm sure you'll be very good at it. Would you like to have a go? Well done, team. Is that you starting to unwrap? Yes, it's a good idea if we start wrapping, but anyway.
And there you go, it's that simple, says he, but hopefully it's given you a few ideas. You might already do what I've just demonstrated, but still, it gives you a few ideas of how I like to do it. Hmm. No, um, Shimba, can I have that paper back, please? No, Shimba. 